Okay, next coward series. I'm, I'm glad these series are helping men because it's not, it's not judging men and putting them down. It's actually helping them to realize their potential. So this is about discipline. I see so many people saying, oh, next week I'm gonna start the gym. Next week I'm gonna start no fat. Next week I'm gonna start being more social and talking to women. Next week I'm gonna start um, jogging. Next week, everybody says that. And it's so easy to say that because when, when you're in a good mood now, today, what I can sit here now and say, I'm gonna do anything next week because I don't have to do it right now. So it's very easy for me to say these things and, and give it the big and, and make these promises and make these commitments and say that I'm gonna achieve these goals and I'm gonna follow up on my word. But when next week comes, and you wake up in the morning and it's cold outside and it's raining and you don't feel like getting up and you're in a bad mood and you're tired and you're groggy and the alarm button goes off and you want to hit that snooze button and you do hit that snooze button and that voice in your head says, oh, let's just leave it today. It's not a good idea. It comes up with some kind of excuse. That's really what I want to talk about today. How you can stop being a coward and get past that voice. Now, Hit that subscribe button if you're new and you want to gain more self-confidence, you want to take more action, and you want to build more discipline. Today's episodes of the Cowards series is about building self-discipline. Remember what I said, if somebody's got like mental health problems, they're not a coward. That's, very, that's a different matter. They, they need to get professional help, speak to their parents, the family, a doctor. I've been for it personally, it's not a nice thing, but there is help out there. And if you speak up and get the help, you'll be in a great place. But for those of you that don't have mental health problems and, and you are able physically and mentally, but you're not taking action and you're telling yourself these lies, how many times have you done it? How many times have I done it? I've done it as well. I'm guilty of it. I've said, next week I'm going to do this. And when next week comes, oh, I can't, it's raining. It makes me laugh. The other day I was... It was raining in London and everybody was running for cover. And then I realized, well, 60 to 70% of the human body is made up of water. <laughs> so, you, so what are you running from? Rain doesn't burn. Rain's not fire. Okay, the reason is rain's uncomfortable. Nobody wants to get wet because it feels uncomfortable when your socks are wet and your pants and you're soaked right through. But it's not going to kill you. And you can go back home, you can shower, put on some nice clean clothes. You're fortunate to do that. So in the same way, everybody says these big things when they're in a comfortable place because it's easy and comfortable. But like I said, when next week comes, are you going to be a man of your word? Because if you're not, then you're going to become a coward through your own choices, nobody else. Hit that like button if this is inspiring you. Uh, my goal with these videos is to help as many men as I can to relieve them from their stress, anxiety, depression, and to help them to build more self-confidence in their life. And also for me as well, you guys put pressure on me the same way I'm putting positive pressure on you because I've got goals and I've been to the gym five times this week, which is why I feel good about making this video. And I'm not in the kind of shape that I want to be in yet. I can be honest with myself. I said it on my Instagram, I did a post with my shirt off saying, I'm not in the shape that I wanna be in, but I'm getting there and, and that's what counts and I'm putting in the work and I'm sticking to my word. It was hard getting out of bed this morning because my mind said, well, you've already been to the gym four times, just have a day off. And I said, no, I've got to do this. I'll have a, I'll have a day off, I'll do five days, I have two days off. So my tip for this is, I'm not gonna say, the things you heard before. You've got to get to a point in your life where you're sick and tired of lying to yourself and letting yourself down. Nobody else, not for me, not for gurus online, not to impress people on social media, for yourself, for your own sanity, for your own confidence, to, to actually change your habits. It feels so good when that voice says, you're not good enough, you're not gonna do it, and you beat the voice, you do it. You, you hold yourself accountable. And there's a great feeling, there's a great energy that comes with that satisfaction. We feel good about ourselves. We have more confidence socially. We feel more confident with family, friends, women, speaking right across the board. So make sure you're a man who follows up on what he says. Don't say, don't, don't make big promises about what you're going to do next week if you can't keep them. It's better to say this. This is really honest. Look, 
I want to go to the gym next week. I want to quit porn. I want to start dieting more. I want to push myself. I want to lose weight. But in all honesty, I don't know if I'm going to follow up because my track record hasn't been great lately. I, that's a better level to start. That's a better foundation because uh, there's no better foundation than, than truthfulness and honesty. It's much better to say, I can't guarantee I'm going to be in the gym next week, but I want to do it. I want to get past these negative habits and these lies that I tell myself and I tell other people. I reckon that's better than saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to change the world. And then when that day comes, you don't do it. That You're just going to make a, a fool of yourself to yourself. So this is obviously about building a good relationship. So it's really about motivating yourself, not when you feel good. Because when you feel good, it's easy to speak to girls. It's easy to make YouTube videos. It's easy to go to the gym because the feel-good factor takes away the pain and the suffering and the stress and, 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 and those mood swings and those horrible emotions. But discipline's really about getting yourself to take action when you don't feel good, when you're not flooded with those happy endorphins and emotions. And that's what builds a great character. That's what builds a better human being. I'm not going to generalize and just say that's what builds a better man. That's what builds a better man or a woman. But in this case, obviously, I'm talking mostly to men. But the message applies to everyone who wants to be better, obviously. I, I'm not going to say this stuff to people who don't want it. I have respect for other people and what their wishes are. But if you clicked on the video, then the title has intrigued you. You, you must want to hear something I've got to say. So I really want to help as many of you as I can to help yourself. I want you to hear this message, get inspired, and do, do the things that you want to do in your life, whether it's gym, whether it's start a YouTube channel, whether it's spend more time with your family, whether it's to be more positive, whether it's to make friends, whether it's to buy a new camera, anything positive, anything that you want to do that you haven't been able to do because of your own fears and insecurities and lack of discipline. So you can't achieve any success without discipline. I've realized that. Now, it isn't all doom and gloom. A lot of us get stuck in the mindset that discipline isn't, it can't be fun. It's not true. I love living more of a disciplined life. It's hard, but that doesn't mean it's not enjoyable. When you actually do it and you come out the other side and you finish an act of discipline or going to the gym or abstaining from porn or whatever negative addiction or doing the right habits, you feel great after. You feel full of confidence. You don't have those insecure feelings and you have a better mental health. And as we start following up on what we say, guess what happens? We build more self-trust. Then we can say, next week, I'll be in the gym three times. And you know in your own heart, you're going to follow through with it. So the way we build discipline, guys, is by following through with the promises that we make with ourselves and other people. And that's how we build mental toughness. And that's how we stop being a coward. Because being a coward is a choice. Being a champion is a choice. And it's the little daily things that we do, which is why I said if you want to start off building discipline for beginners, the best way is to clean your apartment. Every single day you wake up, the dishes, the hoovering, the washing, the clothes, do it. I do it automatically now. So as we practice these habits that are initially difficult, it will become second nature. So that process of when we go into that, Oh, shall I go, Jim? Shall I not? Um, shall I clean my apartment? <clears throat> you break that up. It just goes, yep, clean my apartment, and you just start doing it. Yep, go to the gym, you just, you just make the effort to go to the gym. And you can't use the weather as an excuse. If you use the weather as an excuse, then you might as well just quit right now. You might as well quit. Because if you live in a city like London, it rains most of the year. Most of our seasons, is even when we have summer, it rains. It's been raining this week. So you cannot put your life, your goals and your hands in the hands of the weather because you can't rely on it. You can rely on the fact that it probably rains. So if there's a train strike, that's not an excuse to not go to the gym. Then walk to the gym. Then go a different route. Then cycle to the gym. So I'm using the gym as an analogy to build discipline because that's one of the best ways you can do it. But there are other ways. It's basically what I said. It's following up with what you say. There's no, anybody can talk all these things. I've, oh man, the amount of times people say on my comments, I'm going to start my own YouTube channel. Johnny's inspired me. Great. I've never seen the channel. You've never, never done it. So you've told yourself a pack of lies again. And every time we tell ourselves these lies, it plays, it, it wears our self-esteem down. 
and then we don't trust ourselves. We, we can't, how can we be accountable and, and keep our word to someone else if we can't give it to ourselves? So it's not about judging yourself and no, it's not about doing that. It's just about being honest and being truthful. And sometimes that means it may seem like judging, but it's more motivating yourself. Everybody hears these messages different. Some people will hear what I'm saying very positive and they'll appreciate it and see its kindness. Other people's eyes oh, is too, um, you know, it's too straightforward, it's too direct, it's too honest, it's too, it's hurtful. That's your choice, but this works for me and it works for so many other people. So just start off small. Like I said, if you say tomorrow I'm going to go and, you know, I'm going to stop eating takeaways and go and buy some ingredients and cook a stir fry, then when tomorrow comes, make sure you go and do that. And the more you follow up on what you say, you feel fantastic, guys. You'll be able to conquer any fear, most challenges in your life. And you'll become attractive to women, to people. And most importantly, you'll feel good about who you are. You won't need me or anybody else to approve you or build you up or make you feel secure. You do it yourself through, through discipline. It's a lot of fun. It's not true when people say it's grueling, it's a horrible way to live. That's, not, that's really the opposite. For me, once you get into it, you start training. And if you lack discipline, then keep watching people who are disciplined until you get sick of hearing my voice, sick of hearing their voice, and then you go and take the action. So discipline is about taking action, acting on what you say. A lack of discipline is when you can't act on what you say. So maybe you say, oh, tomorrow I'm going to go and check out some new places because I want to rent my own place. I'm at my parents. And then tomorrow comes and you say, oh, I'll do it next week. A pack of lies again. So stop telling yourself the lies and start telling yourself the truth and, and acting on what you say as best as you can. And, and no one's perfect. I'm not asking you to be perfect. I'm certainly not. You're not. No one is. But that's not an excuse to not be the best version of yourself. So that's really what it's about. Because cowards will always give it the big, and I've seen it amongst men. Sometimes the ones you talk the most are the ones that do the less. The ones that are silent and they have that serious look on their face. No, I don't mean like aggressive. But, you know, they're very passionate. They're more introverted. They, they take so much action. I've seen it. You know, I've been amongst thousands of men, different personalities. But everybody can perfect this. No one is, oh, he's better than me. He's, I'm, no, you're not below anyone. That if you tell yourself that, but it's not true. I'm not above you, I'm not below you, we're all the same. But our actions will be different based on the choices we make. So choose to be disciplined, start small. Start with cleaning the apartment, start with getting your grooming right, looking more fashionable, having, you know, having good manners, cutting down on the takeaways if you want to do that, quitting porn if you want to do that, go into the gym more regularly. Not go into the gym once every three months and, and convincing yourself that you're going to the gym. That's not enough. That's not enough momentum. So momentum equals discipline, equals mental toughness, confidence, you know, doing it regularly. And if you can't say something, stick to something, say, you know what? I'm very sorry I broke my promise. I said I was going to do it and it's come to it and I have no excuses. I failed to do it and apologise to the person you've let down, you've promised, or, or I guess to yourself. So that's it. That's the video today. Very simple, but it's, if you practice it, life-changing. All the simple stuff is the most effective and life-changing when you put it into practice, all right? Like, share, become fearless. I appreciate all the support. I'm glad these videos are helping a lot of you to get over your fears, be a better person, a better man, more self-confidence. Appreciate all the support. I'll see you in the next one.